Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So as you can see for today, I'm going to be showing you my entire eyeshadow palette collection and also I'm um, probably going to be decluttering a few. So let's just jump into it because I have quite a lot to talk about today. So I'm going to first start off with Natasha Denona. I kind of have it sorted by brands. Uh, I have, I'm going to go through the minis first. I have the mini star bronze. Biba, Glam, let's see, Retro, Zendo, and Love. And then, I, th I think I, yeah, I also have the Gold, and then the Baby Biba. So I'm actually going to be giving this one to my mom. I just, I don't need it, and I think she'll absolutely love it. Let's see, if I could only keep the ones that honestly... Are super unique I would just keep these star in gold but they're all really good the only two that are kind of like the quality is not there for me it's the retro and Zendo they're fine they're just not my favorites so let's move on to the midi which is like the medium size we have her newest one which is her second to newest this is her dream palette very beautiful we have the retro the Glam, which is one that I use all the time. I just love it. <laughs> okay, this is her newest. This is the Retro Glam. Super, super pretty. And we have the Bronze Palette. Love it so much for the summer. Let's see. The Zendo Palette. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really do love the color story. Not the best shimmer formula, but I just love the matte so much. And then we have the Sunrise a lot of these can look very similar on the eye, but I really do like the mattes in here, and I love these neutral shimmers, so that's why I like this palette. But definitely, they can all, you can get very similar looks, so. I'm going to be keeping all of my midi size. This year, I actually decluttered the pastel palette and the love palette. So, out of the Natasha Denona, I will be decluttering this one. Also have the Sunset palette. This is newer to me. I picked this up on Black Friday. It's fun. I have the Trio Chrome. Seriously, one of my top favorites from her brand. The mattes are on another level. The Gold, which is my absolute favorite palette from the from Natasha Denona. And then, let's see, the Metropolis. Seriously, just uh, everything. I love these earthy tones so, so much. And then last, but certainly... So far, I'll be decluttering this one <laughs> out of all of those. Okay, so now let's move on to my Adept palettes. I started the year off with none, and now I have all of them. So first, let's start off with the newest one, which is Minka. And this is what the inside looks like. How stunning. I absolutely love this one so much. The Nanhydrin palette. My favorite Heather Austin palette. Well, just well loved. The House of L. And something else I love about these palettes, they're magnetic, and you can just move them around. Plain Jane Remastered. Very special shades in there. And the Omnit Light. And then this one is singles, but it used to be like the Kodan palette. Um, I missed out on that palette, so I purchased these singles. It's no surprise I love Adept, and I will not be decluttering any of these. I have some singles from Give Me Glow. I used to have like this palette all how it came, the coral palette, but now I've mixed and matched it. Just kind of shouting this out because I did not even know about this brand at the beginning of the year and now they're one of my favorites. I um, absolutely love their singles so, so much and I hope they come out with more palettes because they have an amazing formula. Let's move on to Pat McGrath. Um, I will not be decluttering any. I also, honestly declutter a lot from her this year. So these are the ones that I really do enjoy. This is a Venus and Fleur palette. This is one of my little favorites. It's just such a good, like a really good uh, quality palette. If you're, if you're wanting like a small Natasha Denona palette with excellent quality, I really do recommend this if you love these tones. Just a special palette. So this is a Bridgerton, like the, let's see. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Super beautiful. If you Don't get them if you don't like pink. I'll just say that. But I love these. They're very special to me. I love Bridgerton, but also I have lots of memories with these palettes, so they're just extra near and dear to my heart. Um, I have three motherships. I have a Bronze Seduction. I have the new one, the Moonlit Seduction, and this one, Utopian Dream. So let me show you these palettes. So... 
This one's probably my favorite. I really do enjoy it. That was my first mothership. And then this is the newest one. It's fine. It's just a lot of these, you know, you get the same look. And then last, this one. I think this shade may be going bad or something. It has like a weird circle in there. Let me know if you know what that is. Because, um, I don't know. It still performs fine. Um, but, yeah, I was just, I kind of noticed that. So, let me know if you have any information on that. And then I had the mini um, right here. It's so, so cute. This is the Midnight Voyage. Just like a perfect mini to try her brand if you haven't yet. And then this is her holiday release or holiday palette she released last year. Man, this quality is so much better than the one she released this year. I love it so much. I did declutter her holiday palette from it this year. So these are the Pat McGrath palettes that I currently own. I used to have every single mothership, but I decluttered all but those three. Um, let's see, I got this one from Clarity, the Lily palette. I am going to be decluttering. It's just so fragile and it's not the best performing palette. It's absolutely beautiful. I just, um, it's so fragile. I, I'm too scared it's going to break on me. So I just want to give it away because I never reach for it because I have to be so careful for, with it. Let's see, next let's talk about Huda Beauty. I'm going to also declutter this khaki palette. It's beautiful, but it just like you really have to work and it takes forever to get a pretty look. So I'm just not down for that. That's my dog Sawyer barking. I think we just got a delivery. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I think the excitement is over from the delivery. So this is my newest one from Huda Beauty. This is the Rose Quartz. If you are looking for a Huda Beauty palette to try, I definitely recommend this one if you like these tones. This is so, so good. My favorite out of all three of them. This is the Naughty Nudes. This was last year's holiday palette. No, year before that, right? Yeah. This was last year's. This was the year before that. I love these tones. I love burgundies with neutrals. Oh, it's such an amazing palette. This is the one she did last or this year. I'm not... I like it, but I don't love it compared to these, these other two. But I do enjoy it. So, I'll be keeping all three of these and then decluttering the mini khaki. Okay, so next I'm going to mention a few palettes I know I'm not going to get rid of. So, this is from Simply Posh. This is the Genuine Gems. It's so pretty. I just, I may end up decluttering this at a later point, but I'm going to try to get more use out of it and mix and match it. Uh, Fairy Tale Fairies seriously beautiful pastels with grungy tones these shimmers are on another level i much prefer this palette over this one because of the shimmer formula this makeup by mario palette it's so boring but so beautiful and i use it all the time i actually I accidentally forgot to rank this in my yearly rankings because it was in my makeup bag and i forgot to get it out it blended in i had a white bag and i didn't even see it and i even checked for it so let's talk about odin's eye oh man this palette Merry Christmas palette is just on a new level. I cannot wait to see what else they come out with next year. Um, Soul Main 2 palette, so beautiful, especially for like spring, summer. And then the Hella palette, just, oh, this was my first palette from the brand. I love it. These two shades down here, this multi-chrome and this special shimmer, like the shimmers are so beautiful. I love the greens with the pinks and some of these darker tones. Really do enjoy this palette. So let's move on to these two palettes. So this one is from Blend Bunny and I thought I would absolutely adore this palette but honestly I don't reach for it because I don't like icy shimmers and these are so intense. Like the formula is amazing. I just don't reach for it. So I think I'm going to pass this along because every single time I reach for this one over it. This is the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural palette. I reach for this over this one every single time so I'm actually gonna say goodbye to this I've been holding on to it and I have not reached for it since I did my review and tested it out that month I just I don't know so I'm sad because I think the palette's beautiful the quality is great I just I'm not reaching for it because I love this one so much more so, so I'm gonna say bye to this one let's see now let's talk about Glamlot they had so many good launches this year that I wanted to get, but I actually only got this one. This is a clap palette with Michaela. So, so beautiful. Um, amazing quality. Love it. This is a chocolate martini. This is really good, but honestly, this formula is honestly a little outdated. It's, it's fine, but the shimmers, they just need more um, building up. So definitely with their newer palette, it has a better formula in my opinion. 
this Patrick Ta palette. Uh, it's well loved, <laughs> as you can see. So she's staying here. This one from NARS, I do enjoy it. It's just another boring, basic, beautiful palette. But I can't ever get it open. This is what the inside looks like. I don't reach for it often anymore, so I mainly reach for this a lot last summer, so I'm, I'm excited to get it out and play with it more, because I'm on a no-buy, so that means I get to, you know, play with some palettes I know that I don't get to reach for all the time. So, Anastasia, it's going to be really hard. I don't think I'm going to declutter, but my next declutter, I may have to let go of Modern Renaissance. It's so old. My Soft Glam palette, it's straight up falling apart <laughs> so she may have to go the next declutter i'm just i don't know mentally i gotta like prepare myself you know norvina i just as you can see i love this palette i just don't reach for it anymore but i'm not ready to let it go and these are like the newer ones to me subculture so pretty i know everyone hated on this palette but it is really nice <laughs> i got it at tj maxx and i love it this is the Nouveau palette. I honestly never reach for this. I need to, um, I don't know. It's just something that I never reach for. I need to reach for this one more. This is the new one from Rose. It's uh, the Rose Metals palette. I could honestly see me parting ways with this eventually because it's so dark on me. And then the, what is this? I forgot what, Primrose palette. This is my favorite, I believe. It's just so, so good. This quality is better than all of these. I'm just going to say that for sure it's amazing so that's all my abh palettes i definitely my next declutter i need to i need to part ways with them should i just do it now should i okay i think i am okay i'm gonna get rid of this one i'm getting rid of this one i'm gonna get rid of this one i think i'm gonna let this one go too it's brand new. I've only used it a few times. I never reach for it. Literally never reach for it. Holy moly. I just, I don't want to keep palettes just for memories or, you know, stuff like that. If I'm not using it, it's just got to go. I cannot believe it. Okay, I'm going to let them go. I'm going to let them go. And let's see, this one, I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer. See if I use it during spring. If not, I'm going to let it go. I'm keeping this. This one's my favorite, and so is this. I just never reach for this. I'm going to keep these three, but my next declutter, I may just end up keeping subculture. Holy crap, I did not see that one coming. I'm excited. I hope you're proud of me because that was like a huge um, goal for me, and I can't believe it. So these are Fantasy Cosmetica palettes. I love this brand. I had, like, once again... It's a new brand to me. I tried this year. and Now I have all three palettes. This is the Druid palette. Seriously stunning. Beautiful. It's like, it's not neutral, but you can get a very wearable look with it or a very grungy look. Just, oh, it's my favorite. And this is the Bard palette. Another beautiful, stunning, shifty palette. Stunning. I just, oh, I love it. <laughs> and then this one, this color story is very um, poppin', very bold. It's a statement palette, but it is so, so beautiful. So I'm keeping all three of these. I love them that much. If I could only recommend one to you, I would say get the Druid. Just because it's my favorite. But honestly, whichever color story you enjoy, I'd say go for it. Try the brand. You will not regret it. I'm telling you, they're so, so lovely. Okay, now let's talk about Tarte. All my palettes are kind of way over here. I need to, I need to drag them over here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This was my wedding palette. I always say that. It's so special to me. This is one I will not let go. Um, I actually repressed my some indie brand singles in here because the shimmers were gone. <laughs> and I didn't like those two. So I'm excited that I put some new shimmers in here to get more love out of it. It's just so special to me. This one from Tarte, the Man Eater After Dark palette. I love it, but I would never use it. This quality is so good. So... I think I wasn't going to get to declutter it, but now I'm like, I'd never reach for it. I did reach for it a lot this fall, but I just know myself and I'm not going to reach for it because it's so large. And honestly, during the fall, I just strictly almost every day use my Druid palette. Okay. I'm going to let this go. 
and I, you know, I have a lot of palettes, I need to let it go. But I still recommend that palette if you love the color story, if you just want to like go in Sephora or Ulta and buy a palette, Tarte formula, it's really good, the color story is beautiful, so even though I'm not keeping it, I still think you would enjoy it if you, you know, if, that, if those colors speak to you. Okay, so now let's talk about ColourPop palettes. I really do love ColourPop. Um, let's see, this is a Hocus Pocus collaboration they did. The, the, let's see, this is the first one, this was the second, and then this is the third. I never use them, and yes, I love, like, I just love collecting these, but I need to let them go, so I'm going to declutter. Um, okay, um, it's just makeup. I'm going to declutter. I don't need it. Okay, let's talk about this one. It's so good. This is the Star Wars Mandalorian Child Palette. <laughs> don't hate me. I don't watch Star Wars, but I do love this palette. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, let's see. I'm going to be keeping that. The Tinkerbell Palette, also another one I love, and I'm going to be keeping. I just saw that Trend Mood posted, you know, another color pop collection go figure but it's like the sage palette oh my god i'm getting it i like i'm, I'm gonna probably break my nail for that one palette this is a getting fresh palette um i do like this it's very large y'all know i don't like large palettes but i can make an exception for this one so i'm going to keep it i really enjoy this one especially during the summer and spring i don't know why this is the one large palette that inspires me. Some of the neon tones, they're not the best quality, but they're still pretty. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep this. And just keep in mind, this shade actually broke and I repressed a indie brand single in here. So if it looks funny, that's not on ColourPop, that, that's on me because <laughs> it broke. Um, so I'm going to be keeping these three from ColourPop because I really do love all three of these. And I cannot believe I'm going to be decluttering the Hocus Pocus collab palettes. I just, I don't use them, so why keep them for collection, you know? I already collect enough palettes, so. This one, oh lord. <laughs> this is from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Lore palette, and I think that all these shades are stunning. Let me just say that. They all perform well, but together, I'm just not vibing with it. Like, I love all the shimmers, and I love all the mattes, but in one palette they just I, I don't know I every time I look at this palette I struggle to make a look like we have the neutral I just I needed like a green matte or like a neutral matte I just I'm gonna declutter it as much as I love all the colors every I just it's so difficult for me to come up with a cohesive look so I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one go I did not expect that, but every single time I sit down with this palette to try to create a look, I just, I'm stumped and like, I don't know what to do. And I always have to reach for other palettes, uh, you know, to start it off with crease shades because these sh matte shades just don't complement these shimmers the best. Okay, let me drag some more palettes down. We're getting near the end. This is from What's Up Beauty, um, the Geodes palette. This is stunning. I love it. I'm keeping it really good quality and such an amazing like packaging. I love the brand so much and I can't wait to see what else they come up with because this is so beautiful and I hope it whatever they come out with next I really do hope that it like I don't know it, it looks like this it's like the same size you know what I'm saying so they can just like be together and it's not like you know a huge palette stacked with it. I hope it's the same size that's what I'm trying to say. Okay so definitely going to be keeping that. Let's talk about Lunar Beauty. So this is the nude prism palette Look how pretty this is. Y'all know I'm keeping it. Do I need it? No. I have the Makeup by Mario palette, the Patrick Tall palette, Natasha Denona palettes, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> uh, I really do like this one. This is a Moon Spell. I never use it. I paid so much for this on, I think, Poshmark, so I'm going to let this go. I don't reach for it. So why have it just sitting here? I'm really proud. I did not see, see me getting rid of so many palettes. I think I'm just in one of those moods today. Okay, so we are on the last little bit of palettes to talk about. This one is from Sydney Grace, the Tiny Marvels palette. This isn't going anywhere. I love it so, so much. So keeping it, love Mel. Just, oh, I can never get rid of that palette. Okay, let's do um, this one from uh, Beauty Bay. This is my first and only palette I have from them. This is the Dark Fantasy. Ah, this, this honestly surprised me so much, this formula. 
is so so good the mattes are beautiful shimmers are the shimmers are beautiful so definitely staying in my collection i need to use it more so it's a goodie it's it reminds me a lot of the glam lot formula if you're curious and uh yeah i just i really do like it it's beautiful um let's see let's talk about gourmand girls this is the spooked palette that they did in collaboration with doodles by the bunny look how pretty the packaging is this is what the inside looks like i love it so much not going anywhere this one i'm going to declutter um i never use it and red stain my eye this formula is so good i just don't reach for it so i'm gonna pass this one along this is the ethereal palette i think this is stunning like i love it and i'm keeping it <laughs> this is the spectra palette i'm going to declutter because i don't reach for bright tones like this all the time but this formula Honestly, I think this was like a $15 or $20 palette I got it on sale, but the formula reminds me of like a $60 palette. It is so good. The mattes are incredible. The shimmers are, they're not like a super reflective shiny. They're very sheer, but soft. It's an amazing formula. I just never reach for it, so I wish I did, but I'm going to declutter these two from Gourmand Girls. On the last pile, these are my palettes from Nomad. I love Nomad so much. So I'm going to be keeping this one, the Paradise Islands. Look how pretty this inside is. It's like summer in a palette. Love it so much. Okay, this one I'm going to declutter even though I really do enjoy it. I don't reach for these blues all the time, but also they're going to discontinue the palette and my daughter wants it. So I'm going to pass this along to her, but just know this quality is amazing. And the only reason why I'm decluttering is because it's going to be discontinued. Um, let's see. This is the Hudson Valley palette. Are you kidding me? Stop it. You know I'm keeping this. Look at this fall color story. Enjoy this palette. Okay. Last one. This is the Province palette. And mine has got something going on. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting. But it's like leaking or something. And I feel like every time I open the palette, it gets worse and worse. So, like, right now, I actually have an eye infection or something going on with my eye. And it's just kind of made me want to start decluttering makeup that's getting older or if there's something going on like this. So, I'm going to declutter even though I don't want to. This palette was, you know, I don't know, maybe $40 or 30 30 40 bucks. And I do really like the quality. I love the color story. But because of this reason, it just makes me nervous to keep it. That's why I've been filming videos like this because my eyes infected right now. So I'm going to declutter even though I don't want to. I think everything about it is so stunning. But I don't know. You let me know. Do you Have you ever had a palette do this? And did you keep it? Did you declutter it? Okay, guys, so I will be getting rid of a total of 18 palettes. I'm super excited because I didn't know that I would be getting rid of this many. I'm sad about some, but I'm happy. Like, it's time to go. So, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you thought it was entertaining seeing my eyeshadow palette collection while also decluttering some palettes that I do not need anymore. But if you are still here, make sure you're subscribed. Maybe give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next one. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye, guys.